Hey everyone, in this quick tech how-to video, I'm gonna show you how to use the sum function inside of Apple Numbers. The sum function is one of the most basic formulas inside of Numbers, but it's also one of the most helpful and often used. I use spreadsheets to create monthly budgets for myself, for instance, keeping track of my income and debts, and it's become one of the most beneficial things for me. To get started, open a new Numbers file. Just to have some numbers to work with, I'll create a few columns here and enter some data. We see here in the first column is our income. We have two sources of income, so I'll enter that data there. Then we'll create a few more columns here like bills, credit cards, and student loans. Then we'll just quickly enter some numbers. This is where you're gonna go through all of your debts and organize them. So now we have our data. I usually leave a space and then start my sum functions here. Type in equal sum, open parentheses, and select the first income, press the plus sign, and then the second income, then press enter. One thing to note here, in Apple numbers, you don't always have to type the open parentheses like you do inside of Excel or Google Sheets. I do it just because of habit, so it's up to you if you wanna do it or not. But that will then perform the function, adding the sums of the two cells that we selected. Next, select the cell at the bottom of the bills column, type equal sum open parentheses, and then for this one, we want everything in that column. So select the top bill data and drag down to the bottom like this, then press enter. This will then add everything in the selection that we just made. Go ahead and do that for the next two columns. Now that we have our cells added up using the sum function, I will drop down a couple more cells, type total income, and then the next cell to that, type equal sum open parentheses, and then just select the income total cell and press enter. Now, if we ever add or change our income in the cells above, this field will also take effect. In the next row, type total debt, and in the next cell, type equal sum open parenthesis, and then click and drag across your total debts, same as we did in the individual bill data. Press enter and it'll add those all up. Finally, I skip a row and type balance, and in the next cell, type equal sum open parenthesis, select the total income cell, then press the minus button, and finally your total debt, and press enter. This will then give you your balance, income minus debt. This spreadsheet, like I said, is incredibly important, I feel, for everyone. I use it every month to help keep things in check and adjust as my situations change, and I hope it helps you guys out too. And it's that simple to use the sum function inside of Apple Numbers. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more quick tech how-to videos.